PS4 Remote Play has really changed the playing field for mobile gaming. How do you hold this in this and still have a great experience? Hang on, I'll show you my secrets. Let's be 100% honest here. Uh, PS4 Remote Play is super awesome. Being able to play from your PlayStation pretty much anywhere in the world through your phone is a pretty awesome idea. The bad thing is the controls that they put on the screen for this little tiny thing uh, are obtrusive and very, very hard to use, especially when it comes to like analog thumbsticks and things like that. Thanks to iOS 13, you can now Bluetooth pair your PlayStation controller to your phone and have access to all the buttons that you normally would have without having to worry about trying to push the right thing on this little screen. The other problem is, what do you do with this whenever you're holding this? Setting this down on a tabletop can work. Uh, however, if you're not sitting at a table, that becomes a problem. So the solution that I've found is this gadget right here. This is a PS4 controller phone mount that straps onto your PS4 controller and has a spring-loaded attachment to hold your phone. Putting this thing on is pretty simple. Uh, it just slides over the top of your DualShock 4 and then all you do is snap this together. Once that is on, you have this nice attachment here. The angle of the grip here is adjustable by these thumb screws and that can go all the way to the back. Uh, it can also flip all the way closed I guess for storage. The great thing about this grip here is it doesn't interfere with any of the face buttons. You still have full access to the touchpad the share button and the options button are all available as well as the PlayStation button since you're going to need that. It also has a cutout here for the uh, charging port so you can also charge this while you're playing. The second reason for this is if you have an Android phone this version actually comes with an OTG cable which if you know are kind of hard to find and sometimes kind of expensive so with the price of the OTG cable and the clamp itself you get both. So you can use this for other things as well. And like I said, this is for Android phones since this is a micro USB. It's not gonna fit the lightning port of your Apple phone. But Bluetooth, right? Uh, this clamp does extend from uh, about two inches all the way to a good three and a half, almost four inches. So this is gonna fit any large phones. Uh, it seems pretty secure as long as you have these little thumb screws tightened down, the angle of the bracket won't, won't change. But you can see it's we're doing pretty good here. <laughs> so once you're set up with a PS4 Remote Play and you've Bluetooth your controller to your phone, you're good to go. It's extremely simple. There are multiple versions of something like this. I will put the link to this down in the description, of course. But thanks for hanging out. Like, subscribe, comment. You're supposed to do something else. I'm not sure what it is. Oh, have a good day. See you guys later. Peace.